What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Realms of Metal. Eddie here, back with you from my happy place, my metal room here in the woods of PA. We got a good one for you here today. We've got my man, Barry, from That Goat Metal Show, back on the channel, and go to Memphis. Barry, welcome back, brother. Good to see you. Hey, thanks so much, and proud to be back on the channel. It's uh, always a pleasure, brother. Always a pleasure. How's the channel going for you? Um, the channel is going pretty well. Um, I gotta say, you know, thanks to, you know, you know, channels like yours and everybody else in the community, you know, we all helping each other out. I mean, yeah. it's, been, it's been, it's been great. Uh, we're now at about 831. So, you know, we're about 169 away from 1k and I'm hoping we could get there pretty soon. All our, all our small channels here are pretty much the same, you know, it's very slow, but steady growth, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm happy. And then, you know, I guess, you know, with, the um the nice rise of population will go to mentis has been helping as well yes yes uh talk about that go to mentis real quick i have it you, you sent me a copy this is out and where can people get it oh um right now i mean they could still get it over at death farm records uh death farm records.com you know but if you go on our band camp we actually do have copies that we're selling Cool. So if you go on Bandcamp, look for us. I mean, we we have the the digital downloads that you could go and purchase there as well. If you don't want the physical copies, but we got the physical copies that were selling there for like fourteen dollars. Nice. So so you know, and and uh, I think we got a f we we have a few more that we got we're getting from the from the from the label. Yeah. So there's still some. I just sold one yesterday to some uh, to a to a young lady in upstate New York. So oh, man. I've been listening to it a lot. Actually, the CD's in my CD player now. But oh, uh, that's sweet. I asked Barry, just so everybody out there knows, I asked Barry if he had any lyrics for this fucking thing because, you know, I'm a lyric fiend. I like to sit down and read the lyrics to when I'm listening to the tunes. And he, I don't, did you type that out? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I did because, <laughs> the, the, because you know what it was that, you know, we, I still have a lot of the old written down ones just hidden in a freaking folder somewhere. Right, right. And I said, oh man, you know what? And then the thing is that um, a lot of the stuff that I did at the recording, I switched stuff around compared to the original written lyrics. Okay. So I literally, while I'm there in the computer typing, I had the songs playing in the background. I had to stop, wait, okay, what the hell did I say here? Okay, <laughs> it is what I said. And you know, because I, I wanted to 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 mesh with the, the album. Compared right. to what I originally say, either when I'm doing it live or whatever, but the album part, you want to go with it. So I wanted to make sure it was good. Yeah, thank you very much. I didn't expect you to sit there and type out the lyrics, but when you sent me that lyric sheet, I said, I said, oh shit, I hope it didn't type all these out. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yo, yo, for you, no problem, brother. Thank you for that, man. Thank you. It's, yeah, and, and plus, I, I when when I did that, I said to myself, well, I'm sure Ed's not the only one, so I put it out there that if anybody needs it, I already have it. I just email it to them, and they could have it themselves. Awesome, too. awesome. Thank you. All right. So what are we what are we doing here today, Barry? Well, uh, I I reached out to you because I told you, you know, I am still a rookie vinyl collector. I mean, uh, with that being said. Uh, I said, you know, I'm still into my in my desk of so just collecting, getting, going through the, the the ends and outs of it, and so on. I know it's an expensive collection, you know, getting into it. Very. So, um, I just basically want to like share some of the stuff that I've been doing, and then of course, you know, you go with yours because you know it's it's a back and forth. I, I whenever I see you or some or uh, Anthony from Metal Miners or May, Maytox, Deep Shadows in Australia, and they come, they pull out the vinyls, and and I start getting into it. You know, it just gets me excited. I like, yeah. I, I just love it. I love the the, the the feel of it and as far as it goes i've been more into um getting more of the black metal vinyls like that's just been my my go-to right now yeah uh because i just feel like when you're listening to black metal on vinyl it just gives it a more feel different feel than compared to listening to it on a cd or digital i agree i think i i feel like i get a different feel on all genres with vinyl to be honest with you like i throw vinyl on it's different than throwing the cd into a cd player you know yeah it's it, i think with with that being said too it's more like um you know we're, we're we're pretty much the same age range so we remember like the 80s when most of the stuff we heard was either through you know vinyl or even cassette yep and um when you heard certain things through through vinyl it just it gives you this 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 nostalgia feeling of how it uh, sounded what it made you feel like when you listen to it you know as a kid too like my dad had uh you know the doors and the sticks and you know all that kind of stuff the eagles and he used to play that in the house and i still have fond memories of listening to those vinyl records in the house uh him playing yeah. pretty cool yeah it's it, you know that's just you know like when i was sitting down you know digging through some of the stuff to have ready for you 
um, I started think I, I said, if anything, I'm going to talk about like maybe the certain vinyls that uh, I want to get pos- like possess in my yeah. hand, like I, you know, for the for the nostalgia of it. Yeah. Uh, like like you, I know you mentioned Man- Manowar Kings of Metal is like an album I need to have. Yeah, that I, I only have that on CD. I don't have that on vinyl. Me too. I have it on CD as well. Uh, but when I first heard them, when I first heard that album, Kings of Metal, that was my first time being introduced to Manowar was when Kings of Metal came out. Yep. And, it, you know, I remember listening to the album, how it sounded when when uh, that little story time part came about the the, 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 the Metal Kings. Is that you the, know, the, the, the grandfather the, tell me stories? Yes. <laughs> they were the Metal Kings. And then you just go, it just. I remember sitting in my friend's room listening to the to the vinyl. So it's just things like that. Venom at War with Satan was another one. Heard it through vinyl. Yeah. So I, I need I like I if I if I could find those, even if I if I do gotta spend a little bit, those would be the ones I would actually spend on yeah. just for the nostalgia of it. To say I have it on vinyl and I wanna just sit back and just reminisce to when I was like you know, 13, 14 years old, first listening to those albums, you know. I totally agree. I'm the same way. I have a list of vinyls that I'm always looking for that are hard I, I love to get. It. Or yeah. expensive, and you know, sometimes I get lucky and find one. You know, most times yeah, not. I, I remember. I think it was one that that you picked up, um, and I told my wife too. I wanted to get it. I think you picked up a Quiet Riot uh, vinyl. I think that was reissued or something like that. I know yeah. you. you I, I thought it was Quiet Riot. I could have sworn it was a Quiet Riot vinyl. It was, it was one video in the past. You you probably pulled up so many ones that you said, "Oh, I had I had to get this," you know. And and I remember, and I said, "Quiet Riot is probably one of the other ones I would like to pick up too." Yeah, right. Might help. I definitely would like to pick that up. So we're going to go through some vinyls today, some vinyls that we've recently picked up, vinyls that mean a lot to us, vinyls that we love, you know, bands that we love. You know, so I got a, I got a handful here. I know Barry's got a handful. You know, let's go through them and uh, and see what we got, man. You go first. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? I'll just I'll, – I'll, I'll pick the, 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 the smaller ones first because – I mean, I got a couple of like um, seven inches, cool. you know, and I think the seven inches, I think don't get too much fair play as well when it comes to vinyl collecting. I guess people just being told about the big ones, um, you know, but some of these seven inches do mean a lot to me. Well, especially one um, like I'm going to go first with the um, hardcore legends, Billy Club Sandwich. Nice. All right. Hold the baloney. Now. I, you already know the history. With, I, I'm sure you're aware of the history of Billy Club. The, yep. the singer Martin was the former singer of Gorda Mensis. Mm-hmm. There's an old little thing there when you know when they met, while he was still singing for us. Mm-hmm. Um, M- Martin was like, you know, worried about I was gonna get all bent out of shape, and he was still wanting to go and sing with them. And I said, ah, man, it's it's all good, you know. Don't yeah. even worry about it. And I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that I pushed them to that because they became a legendary hardcore band. You really know, did, he became yeah. a legend on, on his own. Yep. So, you know, and it is like, you know, the old school, you know, just a, a flap, you know, the flap little yeah. gatefold here. And, you know, I I, I, I I, was glad I got the first print, print uh, when they first printed it out. I, I got a copy. So this is an original. So I'm sure if I sold this on eBay, I'd probably get a few hundred dollars for it. Yeah. You know, wow. and um, more recently, and I think I don't know if anybody say I, you might have seen this. Um, I picked up. I was talking with Chucky from uh, Crazy Eddie, another hardcore band, right here, Crazy Eddie. I remember you and posted this, that or, or did that in the video. I think I remember seeing yes. that from you. Yep. Yes. So yeah, and this they have their own, a, a literal small gatefold. Nice. Which I thought was amazing. You know, little yeah. seven inch gate. I was like, yo. So pe- when I put this up, people were like, yo, they got seven inch gatefolds now. Like what? <laughs> and 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 the and. The little LP is like, like a white, yep. white LP. I thought I thought it was I thought it was really cool. That is cool. I, I was talking to Chuck about it because I said, "Yo, I would love to get something done like this. You know, a little four song, you know, seven inch like that with a gatefold. I thought that was pretty cool." Yeah. But uh, and I think one more. Yeah, I got one more over here that I picked up recently. Um, oh, there goes Scar over here making a mess. Let's see him. Let's see him. Um, <sighs> right here, I picked up this seven inch. Uh, it's a split. Hell Hunter hmm. and Unholy Goat Fucker. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's always got to be some band with something with a goat in it, man. And especially when they use my body parts. I always say I got to do copyright claims when, you know, the, when they use goat penis, goat semen. Penis, and, yeah, yeah, yeah and they, they forget it. So I, I I picked up this split and I thought it was, it was really cool. It's like a, a gray, gray little LP yep. split. And this is what the inside looks like, huh? Is that, is that black metal or like death metal? It's uh black, black, black and death. Okay. You know, uh, like the one band, uh, I think it's Unholy Goat Fuckers from Boston. 
and Hellhunters from San Francisco. Okay. Yeah, so you know, pretty pretty cool, you know, pretty heavy stuff. I, I'm not um uh, I'm not mad at it. And then of course you saw yesterday I put up I, I got this mistake <laughs> omen awesome. seven in. I think it's awesome. I really do. <laughs> no, dude, I, I was I was I was flabbergasted when when I when I went to the mailbox and I go downstairs and I see the the the, the thing so small. I'm like, what the hell is this? And I open it up and I pull this little thing out. I'm like, yo, this is not what I asked for. Like, what the hell's going on here? But, you know, the, luckily the guy realized it and, you know, he gave me a little discount. So I said, I want to keep it. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I, you know, that was it. As far as like the little seven inches, I mean, um, you know, we go over here to like uh, the vinyls. Uh, one vinyl that 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 that's really cool. Uh, I got this from um, Anthony from Metal Minus. Send it as a gift. Yep. Uh, the dismember demos the demos yeah 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 i i'm like i i heard when i put this on and i heard it and i said i'm so glad this is on vinyl because it just really gives it more of that that feel and and the rawness they had during those demo days it's like yep. Yep. damn and it's amazing how now that a lot of the stuff that have you noticed a lot of bands are now putting out their demo stuff more yep and it's being more appreciated for that raw that raw sound that it had mm-hmm. i mean before like when we did our demo uh, in 96, which to me was one of our worst recordings ever, uh, you know, I, we were like, oh, but we put it out, people enjoyed it or whatever. And all these years later, it got, we, we actually re-released it on Bandcamp mm-hmm. and people love it, especially people who are more heavy into black metal for that edgy yeah. sound. Yep. It's like, yeah, that looks like that's the thing now. Who knows if that becomes a comeback? Just get a tape recorder and just, there you go, they save love, yourself some money. They love the rawness and the nostalgia of it, I think, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. So, yo, go ahead, man. Give, give me something of yours, man. In- incidentally, you hold, you held up that dismember. You know, they're playing in Brooklyn in the summertime. I forget yes. the name of the venue, but my friend sent me the uh, flyer for it. We're going to go. So if you're going to oh, go yeah? that, we're, we're definitely going to go. They're playing uh, like an ever-flowing stream, I think. And it's yeah, the whole movie. album. Yeah. yeah. Morpheus yeah, Descends Rich, is on the bill. Yep. Yeah, I think Rich, we, we, we were checking it out and... Uh, um, I forgot um, which I think it is it St. Vitus they're playing. I think I they're playing think it's St. Vitus. Vitus. It's I I forget the name of the venue honestly. I have to go through my phone. But uh, okay, we did get uh, tickets we'll, for we'll it. See, so. I'll let you know. I'll let you know if we're going. Cool. I definitely want you. So this is uh, this is uh, an homage to what you guys posted the other day on Facebook. You know, one of your favorite hardcore records of all time, Biohazard, Urban Discipline. Yeah, I think this was I'm, the first hardcore record I ever bought, Barry. I got to be honest with you. Oh, really? Uh, like, like being back a metalhead back then, just getting into different bands, uh, buying this without even knowing it was really kind of a hardcore band, you know. And Biohazard's mm-hmm. always been one of my favorite bands. I got a, I got the Biohazard tattoo tattooed on my leg, nice, Seen so many times. But this record is just brilliant, you know, top to bottom. And this is like a 30th anniversary issue of this record, and it's oh, not that's nice. You know, so uh, it's got bonus tracks on it. It's double vinyl. You know, it's it's a brilliant record, man. So one of my favorites. Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm I'm like if I have to choose between the the, the ones that they put out, I, I was always a fan of the first one. Yeah, the, the debut album because I saw them in those days when they would debut. I yeah. saw them open up for Creator and 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 I, that that energy they threw out there when they did that first album. It was like wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, great stuff. Yeah, man. Absolutely. How about this one, Barry? Oh, Black Metal. This is yes. the this is the 40th anniversary edition of this one. It's probably one of the greatest metal records of all time, in my opinion. So much history, so much yeah. influence on so many bands. You know, it's it's such an important record. You know, and this one is uh, this one's colored too. Like gray, Ooh, that gray is with sweet. Black. Yeah, pretty sweet, right? That is sweet, man. I love that. Sounds good. You know, and you'll you'll notice with vinyl collecting. You know, some vinyl sound better than others. It's just the way it is. Like I have vinyls yeah. that sound absolutely terrible, and I have some that sound phenomenal. It's... Yeah, it, it, it that's that's a fact. That's a fact. All right, and uh, well, remember I was discussing to you, um, basically, you know how how I am as far as what I've been looking for in vinyls or what I pick up and I get, you know, I, I find sales on eBay and stuff like that. Yep. And I've been you know, so far, knock on wood, I've been very lucky with the pickups. I mean, of course, I'm not just going to go blindly to say, yo, that says black metal. Let me get it. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to do my due diligence to 
check out the band, hear what they sound like, see if I could if if if, it, if I draw interest to listening to what they have, and it'd be worth buying. Yeah. Um, but what got me was I think I mentioned about that uh that uh record distributor, millionsofrecords.com. dot com, mm-hmm. and uh, I picked up the what was it this fucking the pungent stench. Nice. Uh, the 2001 uh, moral, what's it called again? Masters of Moral Servants of Sin. Yep. What got me is that I paid at the time, what, brand new, sealed everything from this company, and I got it for five bucks. It was part of it, you know, for five dollars. And it's a, uh, you know, it's a gate, you know, it's a gatefold, and I don't know what it looks like on the inside. Yep. You know, the band. Uh, the back of it, and the, the cool thing was the sleeves. They all have like their own little, um, like their own little thing here, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, each yep. each album, I guess, you know, has like each because there's a two two vinyls. Mm-hmm. And, and let me just pull up as it was very clear. Nice, <laughs> love those clear ones. Yeah, yeah, the clear one is. You know, I, I was stoked. I'm like, that's what I think. Things like this, you know, just draws me a little bit more further because I'm like. Yeah. You know, you see that it's like I, I paid five dollars for this, and it's you know it's a good it's a good re- good album. This album is fucking fantastic. You know, it's not it's not it's nothing wrong with this album at all. Yeah. Really, really cool stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute, how is this thing so good? And they got so I checked on the on the website, and I guess you know they just they push like a few that they have a little maybe too much of, right? And they try to get rid of. Now I noticed recently when I went on the site, uh. It went from five. It jumped from five dollars to seven dollars. It's so far it up. Yeah. <laughs> they say, "Oh, I guess you know this guy's already telling people about it. They're going crazy." So yeah. And then um, let me see. Then another one here, which is that I picked up from that same company. Uh, uh, what is this? Okay, this is like a compilation uh, album. It's called uh, Total Holocaust. And yeah, Total Holocaust, which is basically it has like I guess their their bands for for uh, back on black records. Mm-hmm. It has Onslaught, which uh, you're f- familiar with Onslaught, uh, War Wound, uh, Sacrilege, Raw Noise, Extreme Noise, Terror, uh, Disgust, Raw Noise, and Death Dealers. Now mm-hmm. Raw uh, Raw Noise and Death Dealers, they're actually um, I guess side bands of extreme noise terror they, they they have like those are their side bands which i have those albums as well but this was a double a double lp with 24 songs all together really nice yeah again five hours <laughs> can't beat it can't beat it you know yeah so i'm like i i'm i'm totally stoked with that and um then i think the one the one album that i well besides the vincent crowley which you know I, i'm not sorry i'm not gonna We've showed Vincent Crowley enough. I, I love you, Vincent. Man, yo, great fucking album. And that album is fantastic. But the one album, that was like the, the most I've spent on an LP was the Vincent Crowley album. I think it was like the, the how much I paid it? $25 or whatever it was, you know, through the Amazon. Right. But the next one I spent close to 20 and I had to get it. It's uh, this hardcore side by side. I have that. Right? Yo, isn't this fucking fantastic? It's great. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yo, and it, it, it's, you know, it's the, the orange, you got the wizard with the orange. Orange LP, yo, I saw it um, on eBay, and I think the guy had it for. Uh, he started the bid at fourteen dollars. Yeah, and I just I, once it started bidding, I went. I said, no, no, I gotta get it. I gotta get it because I don't know when. You know, you don't know when you're gonna get that. I know. I think I got started. mine at the uh, the Rev HQ had them, and I ordered them from him. Yeah, but you but it's not easy to find. No, that album no. was not easy to find. It was a so re-release I, that I got. So I don't know yeah. if that's the same thing, but uh, I ordered it. Probably from- it's probably even even that because it's like, you know, they they I don't think they did a lot of those. I don't think they pressed a lot of those. No, probably and, not. Um, I saw it. And I said I went. I started bidding. I think I got it for like uh, it was altogether like nineteen dollars or whatever, eighteen nineteen dollars. No, it's not bad. You know? No, hey, look I, I, at that point. I said, look for things like that. It's like it's it's worth it, man. I yep. think it's just worth it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, like I said, if I you know if I was in Eddie's shoes, I probably would be like ah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this vinyl collecting will put you in the fucking poorhouse for sure, baby. Oh my god, yeah, man. Oh my god, yeah. That's like, why once you know, once you're in it, like you're like, oh, I gotta have that. You know, you know the feeling. Like when you see that record, you're like, oh, I need to have that. I gotta own it. Yeah, you know, man. It's 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 it, it sucks because it's like there's there's been a few times like um I told we went up to this spot up upstate New York and I'm just oh I found a spot they sold vinyls. I said, no, I'm looking through the vinyls. And I was like, ooh, Abigail, they're like $40. I'm like, no, what is, what is this, $40? 
You know, and then I'm looking again, Venom Black Metal, 55. What? What is this? I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> I'm like damn. <laughs> then my wife's looking at me on the side because she sees me getting all animated and she's like giving me this look like, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll stick to what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. Uh, here's one, Barry. This one is fucking awesome. This is the 40th anniversary of uh, Number of the Beast, Iron Maiden. Oh, that's sweet. Now, this had the Beast over Hammersmith uh, attached to it, released for oh, the first that's time sweet. ever on vinyl. So I thought it was a must-have 40th anniversary. It's a triple vinyl. That's uh, sweet. Amazing. Sounds amazing. Beautifully packaged, beautifully done. I know you're a big Maiden guy. So yeah. Let me show you that one. Yeah, I think, I think, did I have, I had, uh, man, let's say I'm trying to think back to some of the old vinyls I had before, like, you know, when I I think I had no. I had Power Slave. I didn't have Number of the Beast. I had Power Slave. Yeah. Damn, man. That's a what beast. else? And uh, here's a here's a nostalgic one that you know I, I had to have on vinyl. I had the cassette when I was a kid. It's uh, Run DMC's Raising Hell. Oh, nice. Uh, I love this one, man. Uh, you know what? I think. Uh, oh, damn. Now, now you say that too. I think. Well, what was I had a Run DMC album as a kid? At Tough of the Leather. Look at this one. Oh, that's sweet. It's so good, right? It's such a killer yeah. package. Yeah, Run DMC. I mean, look, man, I, you're saying I love Run DMC, man. Run DMC is always gonna, you know, be that that's straight great nostalgic rap, man. Can't can't beat Run DMC. Gotta love it. Can't. You're yeah, up. Let's see what you got. All right. So now that you have put out put up made, and there was this um again, going back to Millionsofrecords.com. It makes it seem like they pay me for advertising or something, right? But um, this is how I discovered that site was through this uh, one band. Um, this band called Elixir. I don't know if you've heard, you've heard of them. They're, oh, you, you you said it on one of your videos that I watched, yeah. Yeah, I they were part of the new wave of British heavy metal, which I didn't know. You know, I uh, they, they, they formed in 83. Um, I guess, you know, they, they did their demos and stuff like that. This was their first album. It came out in 86. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, I, I was like, oh, I put it on and it, and it has the straight, great sound of that new, new wave of British heavy metal. You know, what you would get from like Maiden or Priest, you know, and, and Saxon something. and all those yeah. bands. You get it from this. And I, nice. they, they, they're still around to this day. I think they, they released their last album came out uh, 2022, something like that. So I think this was like out of this was their first album. And I think they got about seven full lengths and then they got like you know some uh compilations and things like that through their discography and stuff but yep. a very no there, there's a, there's there's them in the back you know i don't know if you can see them you know old yep. school way you know old school new wave british heavy metal music so I, I got i think i picked this up i picked up their second album and i was checking that you know they, they do have their their third album. So I'm gonna see if I pick it up. I, I just like, yo, this is a shame that this is a band bands like this that you they fall like under the radar, but they're yeah. still kind of relevant at the same without, time. The without same. you, like I would have never known who Elixir was, you know, without you showing no, that vinyl on one of your videos. And again, it was by chance. And and let me tell you, it was by chance because um, yeah, I saw I saw the the advertising for it. You know, I was like, oh man, you know, and I, I went, I dug them up through um, metal archives, you know, seeing what they were all about. I took a listen to them. I said, yeah, it's, it's straight up old school, you know, new wave British heavy metal, you know, metal is, you know, good. You, know, gallop, you get that galloping sound and yep. all that cool stuff is in there, man. It's really, really cool shit. Awesome. And uh, let me see what else we got here. Then we're going to go into one of the big surprises that I just got recently, which I think I talked about um, this band here. Uh, it's it's Kanan. Uh, they're black metal from uh, England. Yep. And... Uh, you know, the name of this album is called uh, Cedar of Unseen Snares, which kind of makes sense because the album cover just, I, I, I couldn't even tell what the hell was going on with this album cover. I'm going to let you see it. Whatever you see is going to be the same thing I see. It's basically a black blob, yeah. right? And then the back of it is something else where, you know, it's like, you know, you see some weird stuff in here. Right. So I'm assuming that the album, the, the, the title is like trying to say more of like, uh, you just see things for what you want to see. I guess, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it does. But uh, yeah, this is uh, you know, really good pickup. I, I, this was a uh, white vinyl. Yeah. Right. And I turned, and when I went digging them up, you know, looking at their history and stuff like that, this vinyl is is I think they only pressed about, I think it was five hundred. 
Yeah. And yeah, the album came out uh 2015. They've been around since 2004. And that's Kanan. Yeah. That's how you pronounce that? I I I'm, I'm probably butchering it. You know, C A I N A. I you know, I, even said it, I said, look, I'm just spelling it out there because I said I can't pronounce it. I, if it's Kana, Sana, Sana. I do the same stuff. I do the same shit. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm. I, I, you know, sometimes I think some of these bands, especially a lot of the black metal bands, you know, they they put their their thing where they just put everything with their logos and they expect you to read the logos the way they have it or whatever. Even when you figure it out, and you and the pronunciations is sometimes off because it's in their native language, probably too. All right. So I'm like, okay, you know, I said, look, if, if I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. No, yeah. Nothing else I can do about that. I'll just, <laughs> yeah, somebody will come and tell me, you it know? Is, yeah. Yeah. And uh, let me see, what's another cool? Oh, this one right here. Um, There's another one of my favorites, uh, which I found by, again, uh, yeah, found by, this was actually picked up on that AmericanRecords.com. Um, Merrimack. Okay. Merrimack is a black Merrimack. Movie. France, yeah. right? It came out in '94. This is actually a compilation album, a two vinyl compilation album that has like their first four releases, yep. which was I think uh, two demos, uh, an EP, and a split they did with another band. And this is you know '94, and I'm like I'm looking at their discography, and I think they only have like maybe which I, I, it bugs me out when you look at the the metal archives of black metal bands, yeah. you see a slew of releases, but like maybe three full lengths, and that right. slew of releases. The rest is like maybe an EP, a demo, a split, EP, demo, split. And it's like so many. Like Nun so Slaughter. They... Nun Slaughter is like that on the Metal Archives. There's so yeah. many releases for Nun Slaughter. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it just bugs me out because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to like see what their full lengths are. And then you're just trying to get through the whole list. And then, oh, oh look, there it is. After like the 10th <laughs> release of a demo EP split, they finally did a full length. Yeah. I'm like, okay, but you know, they've been around since 94 and, and from what they said, they're still together and really, really cool, raw black metal. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I got no complaints, got no complaints. I, I'm I just have, glad I've been, you know, dwelling into that world of black metal and yeah. appreciating the sound that they put out. I'm going to check them out. I've heard of them, but I've never actually taken the time out to check them out. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I, a matter of fact, I even, uh, what was it what, on my, uh, YouTube algorithm? Um, they popped up one of their live shows they did in France. I think like last year or something like that. You know, I was yep. I was checking it out. The only problem I had was I guess the angle, whoever was was filming it, had it more towards where one guitarist was playing, so you couldn't really see like the whole band. Right. So you know, I I'll see if I find some more. But yeah, they're pretty pretty good. Not too bad. So I I pulled out a couple that were kind of rare. Um, Of course, I had to pull this one out. It's an original pressing. That's the only reason I pulled it out. You know, it's kind of oh. beat up. But uh, this is an original pressing of Kill 'Em All, and these are going for big money, man. Like if you, yeah, yeah I can see the little corners there. There it is. Yeah. 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 Like, if you have a Discogs account and you like log your vinyls, like I do, you can mm -hmm. kind of see what they're worth, what they're going for. You know, and this one sold recently for like seventeen hundred dollars on Discogs. You know, that, that doesn't surprise me. I'm that sure it was in really good shape. I mean, mine's in decent shape. It's not, you know, mint, but I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I've pretty, I've taken pretty good care of it over the years. But uh, like, when it comes how to expensive come vinyls, it? it's one of the most expensive ones I got. So, how, how did you come about it? No, I had this when I was a kid. Well, not like I, I, like I bought it when it came out, but I did have a used record store when I was in middle school and high school that I could walk to. And mm -hmm. we used to go there and the guy, you know, bought, bought and sold vinyl records. And he used to, for me and my friends, he used to say, what do you want in your pile? And we used to pay him as we go. You mm -hmm. know, a bunch of those old vinyls are ones that I got from him, original pressings. And, you know, I got them, you know, a few years later, but they're still originals. Pretty cool. Man, isn't it amazing that you think about what you paid for that vinyl back then? And like, Ten, bucks. Was, you know? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I, I'm I'm so mad that you know some of those old vinyls I remember I had that I picked up when I first got into metal and I you know either they got lost through through moving or my mom's tossed them I don't remember yeah. but yeah I had the the first pressing of Master of Puppets I had Power Slave I had uh, State of Euphoria and I had Abigail no not Abigail them I had them yeah and I had those four I remember I had them I used to burn them things on on my mother's vinyl and. I, oh well, I imagine if I would have kept them in good shape, what would it be worth now? Here's another one kind of along the same lines. It's an original Bonded by Blood. 
Sweet. Got, got it at the same place. You know, this one's probably this one's in pretty good shape. Um, and the good ones are going for like 300 bucks. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, man. Anything, anything with old nostalgia now, man, it's just gonna, it's just gonna go, it's gonna fly back. I mean, I I don't I told you right that our old go to Mensa stuff was going for like, you know, $125. And yeah. uh Ramon sold um he had extra demos or original demos that we had of yeah. our second demo. And I think he put it up and I think somebody paid fifty dollars for it, you know, yeah. just for the original demo. Yeah. With his four songs. Yep. It's crazy. So it just, you know, you know, you never know, man. You never know. <laughs> Once people find out that you can't get it anymore, it's like, okay, then they need to have it and they're willing to pay triple for it, you know. Like Yeah, man. That's just that's just that's just crazy, man. But um uh, here I'm gonna give, give you something else here. Um this right here, uh it's a black death metal band from Kentucky. Uh Fornicus. I remember that on one of your videos. <clears throat> yeah, Fornicus. Um, this is, you know, I, I'm just like surprised with some of the, especially we're here in the United States with some of these bands we have that's in that either black metal or black and death metal style. Yep. And, uh, they, we, they don't get a lot, they don't get a lot of praise or shame from, um, uh, Vulgar Display of Gaming. He did a video ye uh, yesterday. I was looking at it. He mentioned something about American black metal. And I mentioned in the comments, I said, dude, man, yeah. I said, there are a lot of good bands here in the United States. Yeah. It's just that. Everybody, you know, it's just like anything else when it comes to a, a specific genre, they the, the main focus is black metal. You always think in Europe. You think yeah. Europe, you don't really concentrate too much here on the United States side when it comes to that style. Yep. But you know, for, for a band like this, man, I mean, I thought this was fun. This was amazing. Um, my, my boy Tony hooked me up with this and came with a whole bunch of goodies. Got like this big ass poster, which is, the, you know, basically the cover and let me see if I just pull it. The, the back of it is just as cool. So look at the back of it. The back of it is like it's just yeah. sick. It's <laughs> sick. And this is the it's a gate gold. You know, it's, yep. it's, you know this is you know. I, and of course, the poster. I'm like already dreaming how it's gonna look in my man cave when I finally get mine it's done. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's got like a real uh, kind of behemoth vibe to it too. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. that in that vein, I would say so. Uh, do do I will, will I compare them to to behemoth? Maybe not. Uh, I think they 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 try to stick more to that level of because you know well if I gotta say Beh wait, we're gonna compare it to Behemoth I won't say Behemoth now maybe Behemoth in er early two thousands we'll say yeah. that when they were yeah. more black metalish yeah they yeah. still when when Behemoth graduated to that blackened death metal style in the early two thousands you know and when they did the you know, demigod and you know stuff like that yeah yeah, yeah I, I guess so yeah I, I guess that that falls in that range and then. Speaking of that too, there's um this other band I think, I, and of course I mentioned it. To you. I think I even sent you the link. I don't know if you picked it up. I know Drusifer did, um, uh, which was uh this band Devour. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you mentioned it. Yeah, that yep. and just yeah, you know, well, should have got it when you had the chance, man. It was like twelve bucks. Now that now you you're only gonna pay eighteen, nineteen dollars for it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're from Singapore, and this album came out in two thousand two. Uh, yes, yes, there's them in the back there. It's, yep. it's really, you know, really, really cool stuff. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna. It's, it's a uh, Jucifer when he did his review on it, because he, you know, he's the master of uh, war metal. Uh, you know, they do have like this uh, aesthetic, like a, of a war metal band. Yep. You know, they start to me, they have like more like black and deaf. I think from the sound. Uh, but he was like that. That you know, I, I agreed with him on on his take on it because I, that's another genre. I'm, tr I'm still very uh, uh, young on. As far as they too, like, like I don't know, yeah, war, war metal, metal is, is isn't war metal basically black and death metal pretty much. I mean, somewhat, yeah, but I, I guess in, in some retrospect, but I guess there's just an aesthetic they have when they play that is like you could point it out, and I'm starting to figure it out little by little for certain. Like if bands. I if you told me that like uh, black and death metal with an edge, I think of a band like Impiety. You remember Impiety? They're an old school band. Like if yeah. somebody was saying that was war metal, that would be like the first band that would pop in my head. I don't know. Yeah, so it's like every, every the the who, who, like um the way, ah damn it, Scar, what the hell you knocked down? Oh damn cat. <laughs> so he the 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 as far as the war metal, you know, of course, you know, blasphemy is supposed to be like the the top tier, like you know the go to, like you know the way Venom used to be for black metal. We know they would consider Venom black metal, but blasphemy is that top tier of war metal, and then everything just filters out from them. Yep. Um, but. 
Uh, I'm, I'm getting there, you know, little, little by little. I mean, it's just, you know, I, I start seeing, you know, hearing certain things and I start to like, you know, uh, separate whether this, because, you know, you, it, when you hear certain things, like you can usually just say, oh, that's just black metal or that's just death metal. And then they're like, no, 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 that's war metal. I'm like, you sit there like this, okay. <laughs> and then you start trying to figure it out. But, you know, everything, you know, it has their little break offs with the genres sometimes. Yep. I mean, yep. We'll, we'll get something new eventually. It's just it's about that time. I think was it every twenty years we yeah. get a new genre. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this one's one of my favorite records of all time. Oh yes, massacres from beyond. Now I had to get this one because this one this is a clear one, and there was a whole only a hundred of these pressed. So oh wow. I got it right from earache in the, in the UK and uh, like I had to have it. Like I just, it's one of, you know, it's one oh, that I was nice. looking for on vinyl and to find it with only a hundred pressed, a special edition, like it, I had to have it. So this is one of my favorite vinyls ever. Brilliant That's record. Dope. Rick Roz's guitar tone on this is off the fucking charts. It really is. Cam Lee's vocals are amazing. Like be- between those two, this record is oh, one of my favorites ever. Yeah, I, I, it's it's a shame that a band like that, that to me, Massacre should have been up there with you know making tons of tons of music, man. I, I just, I uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. You know, Rick Roz and Cam Lee can't get along these days. Oh, <laughs> okay, that that explains it. Well, <laughs> Rick Roz is doing Left to Die, the death kind of tribute. Uh huh. Cam Lee is now doing Massacre again. You know, oh with, really with, with the old school logo not not this logo the older school logo that masker used in the beginning oh from like oh yeah 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 i know what you're talking about I know like the demo about. days or whatever but uh yeah pretty cool well, i love that record i mean it's it, it's just a shame man some of these bands that you know it's like uh, what 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 could be so i mean i you know i can understand some of the the thing of you know, when you're trying to get your uh, your point across in the band, and maybe not somebody not agreeing with you, and then you maybe catch a a temper tantrum for a minute, or whatever. But it's supposed to be yeah. all about you know the yeah. music at some point. You know, those guys could just come together. You know, yeah, man. I mean, come on. I mean, who wouldn't want to see that original lineup perform? I know, I know, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, what, we what can you do? Okay. This one I showed I, I showed oh, a couple yes. videos ago, the first body count record. You know, I'm a big Ice T fan. I had this when it came out on CD, and uh, it's, again, one of my favorite records ever. It was a bucket list vinyl for me, and uh, anything Ice T touches is pretty much gold to me. You know, so uh, I love this one a lot. I don't know how you feel. About and that's the is that the original pressing? It's not. No, it's actually an unofficial release. I mean, that's really the only way you can get it these days, from what I hear. Like I've been looking forever for this vinyl. I finally found it. It's an unofficial release, but I mean, it sounds good. Like the vinyl sounds good, but uh, you know, it's not recognized as an official release of the band. You know, so it's a white vinyl. Oh, nice. Okay, but it's one I had to have. You know, it's just no, no, absolutely. I remember the whole controversy with Cop Killer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, and uh, everybody was just kind of, kind of like freaking out, like. Wait, he does an album killing cops, but then he becomes a detective. Like, what? <laughs> everybody was so confused. Like, no. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny because you know me. You know me. I, I work in law enforcement, right? <laughs> so people would, you know, even uh, as far as like when they found out I was into metal, if I mentioned body count, they go, "Oh, you like that shit?" After what he did and this, that, and the other. I said, "Look, dude. I mean, yo, it's it's. Think of it as a movie." Am yeah. I gonna go and like hate movies because they kill you know cops in the movies or whatever just because they kill a cop in the movie? Yeah. That's what it is. You look at it as a movie fantasy. That's what it is. I mean, some, sometimes certain it. things yeah. get taken. Yeah, some things take a little bit. You know, they take it too too personally. Like, yeah. um, well, you heard. Well, we have a song on on the Go to Mentis album. I'm sure you heard it. Um, Corrupt. If you read the lyrics to Corrupt, you could probably sit there like, Yo, Barry wrote this. Like, <laughs> what the hell's wrong? Like, what's going on? So. I had to explain <clears throat> when Corrupt was written, uh, it was uh, it was during the, the, the Amadou Diallo thing, the guy who got shot up 41 times. The original title was called 41 Shots, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. And uh, then we changed it to, you know, then we changed it to Corrupt. Yeah. And um, 
the it was more from the experiences of my guitarist and our old singer at the time that you know they've had their bad experience yeah even though you know they know you know they respect me and whatever but if they had an experience and they want to go and write down their experience of how they feel i mean how look look at tom mariah i'm a, you know he's supposed to be you know christian and he's singing about you know sacrificing a chick on an altar i mean you know well, you know well, well, it doesn't matter it's just you, you're, you're telling a story exactly exactly and that's how ice t yeah. put it too he's like it was told through the eyes you know of the killer you know this guy is the killer yeah you know and uh that's how the story went yeah again it's a story you know yeah. people just tend to you know get butt hurt off you know so i mean look just it, just take it as is i mean it's a story <laughs> unless ice t is going around freaking uh you know slaughtering cops in every state then you know what 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 what, what it's all you know it's not real life Come exactly on. exactly it's not real life all right, let me see what I got over here. I think I got a couple more I can show you real quick from uh, the surprises I have. This band right here really caught me too. Um, it's a band called Ill Omen. Ill Omen. Australia, right? Oh, yeah. Australia, they, they broke up, they split. This They, they formed in 2006 and this album came out 2016. Um, really caught me off guard. I, you know, I, it was... Um, Really, really good album. I ain't gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It really caught me. I'm upset that they broke up. Really good black metal. I had to give uh, my man from Australia some props out there. Say hey, Australia actually got some good bands out there too. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, as far as most of their genres, you know, whether it be death metal or black metal, they got some really good bands. Yeah. When I think of Australia, the first band that pops in my head is probably Mortal Sin. You remember Mortal Sin? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ace of Despair. Mm hmm. A great really, record. Really, really good stuff. And this one here was. There's another one. There's another, a, a cool one, too. It's one of my eBay finds, which I was lucky. I think I paid I think eight bucks for it. Uh, this band called Now Nocturne. And uh, this band came out in 98. They're from Germany. And uh, this band, this album came out in 2008. 2008. Yeah, six song. Is it a six song EP? But, you know, great German black metal. I ain't gonna, you know, it's like, you know, I just been so fucking lucky. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, man. Just been so lucky, just picking up, you know, because it, it, it excites me. I, you know, I, I go on, I go on, I start looking for albums or whatever, and you know, I hear what they sound like, and I just, oh man, I like, oh man, I can't wait to get it. Put it on the on the record player, listen to it, and just indulge myself. Take it and then, in. The, then the kicker is if 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 I got it blasting on, and my wife my wife walks in and she gives me this dirty look, I go yes. <laughs> <laughs> he did something right. Yes, they did well. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. And then, uh, let me see. What's the other one I got here? Uh, okay. We got Perdition Temple. Yeah. Um, you know these, you've heard yeah. these guys? Yeah. Really, really cool. Merciless Up Upheaval. This came yeah. out to, uh, 2022. Florida Black and Death. You know, I mean, yeah, with, with a cover like this, man, you know. What was the it, was that it, in Hell's Headbangers? What was the label on that, Barry? Yes, yes, I got this in Hell's Headbangers. Okay, okay. Yeah, as you know, Hell's Headbangers, you know, puts okay. these little these little things there. Yeah, yeah this, this is actually when, when uh when I went crazy and I did my first uh I, I picked up no what was it I got two albums from my friend Tony and then I ordered from Hell you know how they have the what is it five for seventy five I think yes. it is you yeah know that they have yeah, yeah. this was probably their five for seventy five cool and very you know let me tell you I, I opened that up and I was just so like. <sighs> My God, this is so cool! I think I got a, a nun slaughter from there, and a couple of other ones too. But that that album, yeah, that was like the the, the big one there. When I heard it, it was just fantastic, man! Yeah, fantastic yeah. shit. And let me see, we got another one here from from Chile, Fantas Fantasmagor, man, Fantasmagor, nice. Fantasmagor. All right, Insurrection of Submission. Um, you know, straight up death metal, straight yep. up evil ass death metal. Um. I, you know, I, 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 like I said, I was, I was trying to keep myself from just trying to just do more with the black metal stuff. Yep. But I saw this, I heard it, and I was like, ooh, why not? You know, and I think it was, uh, let me see, I think it's a colored vinyl too. Let me see, yeah, it's a red, red vinyl. Yeah. You know, some weird, yeah, you know, cool stuff. Yeah. And that's another thing too. I guess you do the same thing too. I get a little kicker when I see like these colored vinyls and stuff. Yes. yes. Ooh, yo, oh man, and you know, and then sometimes when, when do you do this? 
when you put it on the record player, you sit there looking at it for a little I while. Do, I do. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when you buy one, you just don't know what you're getting. So it's like, oh, what do we got? You know, what color vinyl is this one? And if it's a cool yeah. one, it's like, oh. I mean, you know, some, yeah, sometimes I don't mind. You know, if it's, uh, I, I, I get a little disappointed. Oh, it's just a black vinyl. Okay. <laughs> You know, but then when it's like when I get surprised off the the cut, it's like, oh, what? It's a colored vinyl. Oh, look at this! And then I go run showing it to my wife. Look, look, look! She goes, "Oh, that's great." <laughs> I got a couple more, and I just want to uh, I want to give props to our buddy man. I want to give props to our our friend Vincent Crowley. Oh yes, I, you, anything you order from that guy, he signs for you. He's such a great fucking dude, uh, part yes. of this community, and. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I know you are too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, Vincent, I think it's cool. He Vincent, actually, I, sent I, I, I just he sent me he this sent one for recently, free, right? He sent this one for free. He just sent it to me and he signed it. You know, I I ordered some other stuff for him, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna put some other goodies in there for you." I'm like, "You don't have to do that, but you know, thank you." Of course, he always does. And this was one of them signed up, so really cool. <laughs> That one has uh that the that, that one has uh, like a bonus track on it or something. This, no, right? this one does not have the bonus track. This is the Odium Records. Um okay. the Hellhammer Records version have the bonus tracks. Okay. That's dope. And then this was the one that was in the box set that I opened. I did a they he had a wooden box for Beyond Asheron. That, that was really there. cool. That was really, really cool. Yeah, and this one's 180 gram uh blood splatter. I mean it's really, really beautiful. Oh yeah. wow! So, and this is the one that you get with that wooden box, you know. From, that, yeah, that, that yeah, that is so fucking fantastic. It's a man. beauty, man. It really that is. is so fantastic. Damn, I just like yeah. I saw you open it. I'm like, I, I'm like, oh my god, that box will look so cool, man. Uh, oh I got god. it lit up. You see in the back, all lit up. I got it lit up yeah. like the entire state building. <laughs> that looks amazing, bro. That looks freaking amazing, man. Yeah. Hey, Damn, dude. Well, I only got like maybe just two more. I want to just get out of the way here. Oh, for so it. And uh, I think I mentioned this band to you. Um, this is one of those uh, bands that are basically uh, a collaboration band. So Death Dealers, which is basically, you know, when when I heard it, I was like trying to figure out their their stuff because they, you know, they're Extreme Noise Terror is supposed to be like a grindcore band, right? And this is basically grindcore, punk, hardcore. You get that whole mix in there, okay. and it's yeah, yeah, really, really cool stuff, man. I'm, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm still dumbfounded by, by the fact that because you know usually grindcore and, uh, and hardcore don't. I, I never really heard the mix, you know. And these guys mix it pretty well. They okay. really do. They, they do a really, really good job doing. A, they do a good job with that. And then this was another one from you know basically the same thing, which is just another uh, raw noise. Yep, I've heard of and, that. And uh, Say you know, I mean, I'm they're, they're different. It's a different style, but it's in that same vein: hardcore punk, grindcore. No, you know, it's, yep. it's good stuff. I, I I'm just like, wow. I didn't. I never thought that grindcore could actually get mixed up like that because you know, usually when you hear grindcore, grindcore is its own thing to right. a degree. You know, death metal bands might maybe institute some grindcore. You know, maybe just to give it a, a little element to their music. Yeah. But I've never heard anything where. They mixed punk, hardcore, and grindcore consistently. Yeah, I'm gonna check albums. that out. That sounds intriguing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, that. yeah, it, it is. I mean, that's one thing that you know you you think about certain genres that get mixed up. I mean, you've heard, you know, you have your death metal, black metal. You've got your death metal and hardcore, and you know all these other genres that mix in. I never thought I'd hear a, a band use punk, grindcore, and hardcore within the same elements. And those, you know, they're basically extreme noise terror. With other people doing those two bands, so gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I it's mean, if anything, like I said, man, yo, I know you don't want to spend too much money, man. It's still seven bucks on that website. You go pick that shit up, man. <laughs> I may have to check it out. I may have to check it out. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely worth. It's, it's definitely worth it. I, I guarantee you. you they, be... Is that on eBay or is it a separate site? Well, if you want to get the ones for uh, for that seven, like for that, like I said for the seven. Now, I'll send you the links. Like, you know, I'll hook you up with the links. Um, I think eBay, they have them on eBay because I guess that's where they they put their their stuff to try to get rid of. If you yep. go on the actual site, I think they'll charge you the full price. Gotcha. You know, whatever the full price is. Right. So um, I'll, I'll I still have them saved on my little eBay list. I'll run you the links, and the thing is, too, they combine shipping. So it's like 
uh, if you get, let's say, three albums and they're seven bucks each, it's going to be $21. They're going to charge you whatever the, um, was it, media mail? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, it, it'll probably run you like seven bucks for the shipping, something like that. that. Yeah, yeah. So everything will come to you in one shot. Cool. You know, really cool stuff. Very cool. Yeah, man. Check it out. Yeah, dude. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much that. I mean, like I said, the only uh, other thing I want to say as far as vinyls that I do need, and if you see them at a decently Barry price, you let me okay. know. I know yeah. I mentioned Kings of Metal. Um, I, uh, I War with Satan and Possessed from Venom. Yep. Uh, Obituary Slowly We Rot, which I know I could probably get. I checked. You can get that. I, I got it. I'm looking for uh, Cause of Death myself I, I i saw for cause of death too that, that yeah they actually for ridiculous prices for that it is. and uh death's leprosy is another one okay you can and get that right on relapse i'm telling you uh leprosy you can get on relapse oh really absolutely oh, okay yep okay i thought maybe that 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 was like one of those things where you had to it was like a special the only order. one you can't get on relapse and you can't find it anywhere i think is symbolic that's the toughest one to get. Everything else really? I think you get on relapse. So That's you could get leprosy before symbolic? What kind yes. of blasphemy is that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. And the last one, if I if I could find possessed seven churches, I'll be happy to. There you go. Those are all yeah, because those are all out those those were vinyls that I, you know, when I got into those bands, I heard through vinyl right. before anything else. Yep. So it's one of those things where I just gotta have it, you know, sit down, listen. Even though I got it, I got it on CD. Yeah, out of my computer, you know, but it's just the the vinyl aspect of it. I just want those albums. The ones that I'm looking for uh, the most, I mean, I really can't find them, but definitely the Shocker soundtrack on vinyl, if I can find it. Um, I have the CD, but I love the soundtrack. Definitely looking for this on vinyl if I could get it. Uh, Cause of Death, uh, Faith No More is the real thing, is one I've been looking for on vinyl for a while. Oh, wow. can't, can't seem to find it at a decent price. Um <clears throat> You know, stuff like that, you know. Oh, and uh, I, I did mention uh, Quiet Ryan, I, I, you know, Metal Health. That's another one I would love to pick Great up. Great record, great record. Yeah, love to pick that shit up, man. But uh, yeah, man, I think that's, I, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, you know, done with as far as, you know, my, my little thing here. The only thing I could, like I said, you know, I, this, yeah. is, this is it. This yeah. is all you're going to have. Don't not, don't stay away from that crap that, that you saw in the, that's in the theater, please. Please, all four of those original movies are great. Like I said, even the reboot, uh, the re, um, the retelling. They, yes, yes, Got that it. is. I love it. I love it. The remake is good, and I, you know, me and my wife were talking about it too with the remake. Uh, the remake was really good. You know, it was. I it was, was good. Yeah, it was really good. It was just a, a modernized version of the original. That's yep. all it was. Yep. And I, we we sat down, we're watching, and we're like, damn, why the hell didn't they just? Do the rest of them then. I, I'm like, yeah, I would have loved to have seen an updated version of, of the second one, Damien, and and you know the the final conflict. Oh man, I would like to see him do the updated version with the naked Jesus and <laughs> Nazarene and all that other stuff. You know, that would have been fabulous to see what right. they would do. You know, but, well maybe now people will get pissed off with all the stuff going on now with all the woke shit or whatever. So probably. You know, they were like, oh, oh no, don't do that to Jesus. Oh, we're gonna protest. Oh, we're gonna cancel you and. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Look, Barry, man, let's do this again. Like, if you want to save some of your pickups, and I'll save my new pickups. Maybe we'll do a joint video with our new pickups. You know, whatever you yeah, want. You know what? Out. I I I would love. You know what? I'd love to do that. I think I, I have some stuff coming in. She's not hearing right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Maybe maybe we'll wait a couple weeks and do another one if you want. You know, if you're if you're down for it. Yeah, definitely, man. I don't see why not. Uh, I'll let you know. Uh, if anything, whatever I pick up. And uh, if I if I got enough that I can say yo, I can you can put it onto a little segment with uh, yeah. Ed, I have no problem with that. Yeah, man, I'll hold off on doing mine too. I'll let you know what I grab, and we'll see if we can work it out. Sounds good, bro. Cool, man. Barry, that goat metal show, go to Memphis. Thanks for hanging out with us on the realms of metal today. It's an honor to have you as always. You are like uh, the, you are like the mayor of our community, just so you know. Like the you're, mayor, you're way at the top, <laughs> way at the top. No, no. So wait, so with that, if, if I'm the mayor, so Vincent Crowley's the president. He's the <laughs> he's the president. And Vincent Crowley's the president. Uh, we got to have some governors in the way, so I'll be the mayor. I, I, I could be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging with us on the realms of metal. We'll see you guys again real soon. Check out. Barry, that goat metal show. I'm going to link his channel below. Subscribe, motherfuckers. We'll see you again real soon. Have a good one.
Y'all good? Hang on one sec. 